Marade, Kede Yandalaba Santa. Yes, Lord, yes, Lord, by your power. Yes, we thank you, we give you praise. Maro Shandalabakaya. Yes, your name be glorified, your name be magnified, your name be exalted. Yes, be exalted, O oh God, in this place. Be magnified, O oh God, in this place. Show forth your glory. Let your glory, let your deal bring us a refreshing tarabo ziki and deliba santa. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in the name of Jesus. 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 Yes, be that glorified, be that magnified, be exalted in our lives. Yes, be exalted in our lives this mind. We give you praise, we give you glory. We magnify you because you are the I am that I am. Jehovah God, the Elohim. Reba Shoki Ilianda. Jehovah Nisi. Mirios Taya Diri Kataya. Mirios Kate. Ili Branda Satos Tiande. Riki De. Kiriyanda Lama Santa Lababoshe. Yes. Krosi Kabrandi Riba Santa Lababoshe. Liba Tayandi Riba Santi Riba Soya. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Be glorified, be magnified. Hallelujah. Be exalted, be exalted, be exalted, oh God. Yes, be magnified, be glorified. Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Hallelujah. We thank you. Somebody lift up your voice. Open your mouth and lift up your voice unto Jehovah God. Yes, begin to worship him for what he has done for you. Begin to honor him. Hallelujah. Let your praise, let your praise ascend to the throne room of grace. Give him praise, give him glory. Just in a few minutes, just worship the Lord in the language, in your own language. Speak in the tongue, speak in the spirit. Edify yourself in the most holy place. For he is good, for his mercies and Dios forever. Yes, for he is good, his mercies and Dios forever. Be glorified, be glorified. Yes, Lord, be glorified in our lives. Be magnified in our lives. Be exalted in our lives. Oh, magnify the Lord with us. Yes, and let us exalt his name forever. For he is good and his mercies endures forever. For he is good and his mercies endures forever. Come on, shout to the Lord with a shout of praise, with a shout of glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glorify him, hallelujah. Magnify him. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We glorify you this morning. Make yourself known to us. We have come to worship you. Speak to our hearts for the week. Inspire us, O oh God. Speak your rhema word to us. This week shall be a week of a difference. Be glorified. Use me as your servant to declare your word. Let me come under your direct influence. Lord, today I decrease, increase in me. Increase in me. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. Take full control over this service. Yes, take full control over this service. We worship you, Adonai. Be magnified, be magnified. Fill this place. And whoever at the sound of my voice, oh God, let your power hit them. Let your anointing hit them as never before. In the name of Jesus. We thank you, we glorify you. And all the saints of God shall say, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Once again, welcome to our virtual church. I believe that today God is going to do something unusual in your life. And you shall be blessed at the end of this service. This week, the Lord has been speaking to my heart. 
to tell his people uh, about restoration. So I believe that today, this month, from today going or from this month, the Lord is bringing back whatever you lost. There is going to be a massive restoration in your life. The Lord is reorganized and reorder your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And uh, if you have your Bibles or your iPads and uh, your uh, technology stuff, I want you to open your Bibles with me to the book of Joel, chapter number 2, and I'll read from verse number 21 through 27. Joel 2, 21 through 27. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field. For the pastures of the wilderness do spring. For the tree beareth her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he has given you the former rain moderately. And he will cause to come down for you the rain. The former rain and the latter rain in the first month. For the rain and the latter rain in the first month. And the floors shall be full of wheat. And the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years... That the locust has eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillars, and the palmer worm. My great army, which I sent among you, and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, that he has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. And that I am the Lord your God and none else. And my people shall never be ashamed. May the Lord add his blessing to his holy reading. Hallelujah. The Bible says prophetically, as I declare prophetically into your life this week, and the weeks to come. He said, fear not all land. Fear not all people. Fear not all heal of the Lord ministries. Fear not all, all, all friends of heal of the Lord ministries. Fear not all people who are connected to this ministry. Fear not all America. Fear not all Africa. Fear not all Asia, Australia. Fear not. Be glad and rejoice. For the Lord will do great things. For the Lord will do great things. I'm talking about the people of God. If you are not connected to the things of God, if you are not connected to the kingdom, the new things that God is about to do is minus you. So fear not, for I will do great things. God is going to do some great things in your life, in your family that will, 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 will blow your mind. There's going to be an overflow. There's going to be a restoration in your life. He said, fear not for I will do great things. I want you to expect great things. Right from today, expect the unexpected. Right from today, expect greater works. Right from today, expect breakthroughs. Right from today, expect divine connections. Right from today, expect the divine elevation. Right from today, the Lord shall do great things. So be not be afraid, be not afraid, ye beasts of the land. Of the field for the pastures of the wilderness do spring. You've been wandering for too long. You've been going through the wilderness situation for too long. But God is saying that the pastures of the wilderness shall spring forth. Whatever is due you is going to spring forth, is going to gush out, is going to break forth. 
Your miracle is going to break forth. There is going to be a breaking forth anointing oil upon your life this month in the name of Jesus. I speak and I declare that the months ahead of you are going to be glorious. The tree beareth her fruit. You are in your season of fruitfulness. You are in the season that whatever you do, you shall see results. There shall be result in your life. Hallelujah. I'm talking about restoration. Anytime we talk about restoration, we're talking about to bring back to original position. Whatever God ordained for you before you were born, whatever he created you for, if God is bringing you back, the enemy came and mesmerized things around you. But God says, it's okay, enough is enough. I'm rising on your behalf and I'm speaking on your behalf and I'm reorganizing things on your behalf and I'm bringing you to a position of blessing and a position of authority. Somebody shout glory. If you believe it, this is a prophetic declaration. This is a prophetic word that the Lord gave me to, to speak into your life. And every word that proceeds out of my mouth as an apostle, you got to connect to it and say, Amen, let it be. Because this is your season of open pasture. And the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. There's strength coming to you. There is power coming to you. I feel in my spirit and I hear the sound of God saying, yes, restoration has come to you. Restoration to be restored, to bring back to original position. What happened in the book of Joel Joel 1, verse 1 through 14. The word of the Lord came to Joel, the son of Bethuel. Hear this, ye old men, and give ear, all ye inhabitants of the land. Has this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers? Tell ye your children of it, and let your children tell their children. And their children are not their children. So it's a generational thing. That which the palmer worm, which the palmer worm has left, has the locust eaten. And that which the locust has left, has the canker worm eaten. And that which the canker worm has left, has the caterpillar eaten. Before something is made, I want you to understand that provision has been made available for that thing to exist. Before something comes into your life, God has already traveled before time to make provision available to you. That's why we always say that this sickness is not unto death. This situation is not unto death. This circumstances is not unto death. But the name of God be glorified. The name of God be magnified. Why? Because God knows the end from the beginning. Before it happened in your life, before this season, he knew what was going to happen. And therefore, he has gone ahead of you and made provision for you. All that we ever needed or need had already been made available to us, but the enemy came in to temper and meddle the stuff that God has given to us. Let me tell you, in this season, God said in the beginning of the year that this year is going to be our double year of blessing. A lot of us had great hopes, aspirations that 2020 is your year of conquering. It's your year of elevation. It's your year of laughter. There came the enemy to meddle what God has installed for you. 
in case you are hearing me and you find yourself in that high hopes from the beginning of this year and instantly the enemy came and meddled your life, meddled your business, meddled your finances, meddled your, your health, meddled in the life of your children, meddled around everything around you. You hear this word of the Lord God says that enough is enough I'm bringing restoration to you I prophesy into your life your bad days are over and your good days begins now somebody shall glory if the word metal is a verb and is fused without object is fused without object is met and dealt and, 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 um, or meddling to involve oneself in a matter without right or invitation oh the enemy came into our lives came into he came into our circumstances without invitation he came to meddle your life yes 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 without right or invitation interfere officiously and unwarrantedly stop meddling in my personal life i'm here to sound a warning to the enemy that their meddling has stopped has ceased in your life no more meddling god is on the throne god is speaking on your behalf he said this is your time this is your season the termination of the enemy is up The enemy came unwarrantedly. The enemy came with that invitation. That's what he does. That's his specialty. He comes in to destroy things. He comes in all of a sudden. You always operate from your blind spot. So in our blind spot, he came in to meddle. But that says the Lord is over. It's over. Is over in your life. Hallelujah. And the Bible says, it said, For I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten. The car, the canker worm and the caterpillars and the and the palmer worm have eaten, I will restore unto you. If you've lost something valuable in your life, today hear the word of the Lord. Restoration is coming to you. To some of you, restoration has come. I don't know how many years or how many months or how many weeks you've been under duress, you've been under depression, you've been under this aura of the enemy, you've been under this blanket and shadow of the, uh, the, the enemy, but I'm here to tell you that shadow is gone that shadow is removed that aura is destroyed that yoke is broken because god has interfered in your season god has interfered in your life he said restoration has come to you i declare the oil of restoration into your life no more scarcity no more depression no more pain in the name of jesus i'm taking it and crossing you over to the other side so Somebody shall glory. Thank you, Jesus. You see, locusts are insects. A group of insects, no matter whatever you find them. Or categorize them. And uh, 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 they, they are uh, in them a palmer worm, a canker worm, and caterpillars. They are stages. All right, those insects they grow from stage one to stage two, stage three, and each stage is is devastating. When migration occurs, the local swarms are so dense as to blacken the sky over the, an area of many miles. When the insects finally settle. After traveling hundreds of miles or hundreds of thousands of miles, they begin to feed. Consuming enormous quantities of vegetation. 
Locusts are serious agricultural pests. The enemy is a locust in our lives. It's a serious threat to God's people. The palmer worms, they are locusts. The, 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 the reason why they are, they are labeled palmer worm is that they, they travel like pilgrims in bands. They travel like what? Pilgrims. So they are palmer. Pilgrims in bands and begin to devour. The Bible says the enemy comes like a flood. But always the spirit of the Lord will lift a standard against that works of the enemy. Canker worms. They are the licking locust. Which licks up the grass of the field. They lick up the grass of the field. This licking locusts, wherever they find themselves, anything, wherever they settled, they licked up everything. The enemy came as a pilgrim and settled in your family, settled in your life, and began to lick up every as every possession, every blessing, everything that God has endowed you with, the enemy came and licked them up. The canker worm. They came in to devour the fruit of your labor. Every fruit that you had already born. This locust, uh, palmer worm, canker worm, uh, they came and licked them up. They came and devoured them. But I'm here to tell you that God is saying that in spite of the licking, uh, in spite of the devouring, uh, I'm bringing you back to your original position. I'm bringing blessings back. Uh, I'm restoring order to your life. I'm restoring faith to your life. I'm in, in restoring peace to your life. I'm bringing back blessings. I'm bringing back bless, breakthroughs. I'm bringing back whatever you ever need in your life. I'm connecting you to your future. I'm connecting you to people of authority. I'm connecting you. I'm lifting you up. I'm bringing you to the corridors of power. God is saying, this is your season. Fear not. Do not be dismayed. Do not be discouraged because I am with you. I have come to lift you up. I've come to show you my message. I've come to bless you. I've come to expand you. I've come to break you forth. The creeping locusts, they develop or advance by slow and imperceptible degrees. The enemy came and ate up things little by little, piece by piece. Piece meal. Creeping locusts, that's what they do. The crawling locusts. The reason why they said creeping, they are creeps. Do, to move, crawling locusts move slowly on their hands and knees or by dragging the body along the ground. So some of you, you've been affected by every faculty of your life. Whatever is around you has been affected because the crawling locusts came and made sure that they moved and crawled in every foundation in your life and ate up everything. But I'm here to tell you, God says it's over. Healing is coming to you. Yes, blessing is coming to you. And after all these palmer worms and, 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 and canker worms have eaten and developed, they develop into a caterpillar. So they come in stages. When they come to meddle your life, that's the reason why to some of you, you've realized that a certain situation you find yourself, it's like the situation never ended. The more you prayed, it's like you moved from one phase of hardship to another higher level of hardship and to another higher level of hardship because the palmer worms are, are turning into canker worms and they are turning into caterpillars. But God says today, he's wiping them off. He's wiping the canker worms. He's wiping the palmer worms. He's wiping the caterpillars out of your life. The, the human caterpillars, the human canker worms, the human power uh, palmer worms, people that the enemy has unleashed around you, that they are eating you up 
little by little, God says that he's clearing all of them from your life. He's giving you a clean slate. He's bringing the former rain and the latter rain into your life uh, to produce a harvest in your life. There is harvest coming. Harvest, harvest. I hear the sound. Harvest, harvest, restoration. Receive it in the name of Jesus. The effect of the, of the locals, they get their energy by eating plants. They get, get their energy by defoliation. So the enemy came to defoliate you. The devil gets his energy by eating up our sources. By eating up our peace. By eating up our health. By eating up our wealth. By eating up every fruit of our labor. Here in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we disconnect the enemy from your sources. Uh, by the apostolic oil upon my life, I declare you are disconnected from the enemy. The enemy can no longer attack your sources. The enemy can no longer attack your peace. Uh, the enemy can no longer attack your health. Uh, the enemy can no longer attack your wealth. Uh, the enemy can no longer attack your fruit. You shall eat the fruit of your labor. In the name of Jesus, God says I have stepped in for you. No more shall you be under the effect of the enemy. No more shall you be under the directs of the enemy. No more shall you be under the siege of the enemy. The enemy's siege mode has been destroyed by the power of God. I speak, God has unleashed his arsenal of heaven to fight on your behalf because this is your season. This is your time. This is now a rise, shine for your glory come the right shine for the light of God is upon you a right shine for the favor of God is upon you a right shine take your possession break that siege break that siege of coronavirus from your life break that siege of economic hardship from your life break that siege of depression from your life God says that that season is gone this is another day this is a new day a bright day a new dawn a new horizon in your life it's an horizon of God it's a new door of God it's a new season in what Time is it? It's God's time. The devil becomes the thief that John 10.10 10 talks about. The Bible says he came to steal, to kill, to destroy. But the be aspect of God, of, of, of John 10.10 10 says, but, oh, but I have come, for I have come to give you life. And not only life, but more abundantly. The enemy thought that he came to steal from you. He thought that he came to kill and to destroy you. But God has stepped in. Not only stepped in, but to give you life back. But not only that, but abundant resources. Hallelujah. Finally, I want to release this prophetic scripture. Word of God into your life. From the book of Isaiah 40, verse 1 through 5. Isaiah 40, 1 through 5. So comfort ye, comfort ye, my people, says your God. Speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. That her iniquity is pardoned. For she has received of the Lord's hand double for all her sins. The voice of him that crieth in the wilderness, prepare ye the way of the Lord, make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted and every mountain and hill shall be made low and the crooked shall be made straight. And the rough places plain. 
and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. This is a prophetic word of the Lord to you. Comfort, comfort because your warfare has ended. The Lord is giving to you now double for your trouble. Whatever you've been through, the stress you've been through, the pain, the agony, and, and the things that the devil has taken you through, God says that because you endured, because you remained faithful, I'm giving you double for your blessings, double for everything that you've gone through. God is making a highway of glory for you in the wilderness. He's making your crooked path straight. Ah, the valleys in your life shall be exalted. Anything that is taking you down, God is erasing it. He's bringing you to a level planar. Ah, rocky, ibadili, basotoya. The valleys of the enemy in your life are being exalted, are being filled in the name of Jesus. Ah, rosiki, biriana. The mountains and the hills shall be made low obstructions in your life things that you couldn't surmount things that became so huge in your life that did not allow you to move forward God is saying he's made kingdom a low ground for you to scale you shall walk on the high ground in the name of Jesus and every crooked path that the enemy brought into your life every crooked path they brought into your spirit into your business into your marriage into everything around you. God is saying that he's making all those crooked parts uh, straight in your life. He's coming in uh, and making everything straight. You shall no longer walk in a meandering way, but you shall walk on a straight path. Uh, no more shall things delayed in your life. Uh, the things that should take 30 seconds or 30 minutes that you are taking 20 hours to get to. God is saying that I'm real strategizing, I'm reordering, I'm reorganizing. It's going to take you that 30 seconds to get your miracle, 30 seconds to get your breakthrough because there's a gushing forth of God's blessing. There's a gushing forth of God's release. There's a gushing forth of God's power coming to you right now. It's your time. It's your season. It's your moment. It's your time. This is it. And take opportunity of it. Step into it. Be glorious glorified, be magnified by the almighty God. Ah, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed in your life. This is your time of revelation. The revealed blessing and all the people shall know that the mouth of the Lord has spoken. God has spoken. We have heard it. I believe it. This is your prophetic word. I want you to be encouraged by this word. I want you to move by this word. Because the Bible says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Begin to take authority. Begin to walk on your high places. Begin to take the word of God and say, that this is my time. Yes, take the word of God and say that spring up all well. Redeem my soul. Spring up all well and make me whole. Take up the word of God and say that I am restored. I am redeemed. I am bought with the price of God. God is moving. He's shifting and he's making room for me and I'm walking in my victory. I'm walking in my power. I'm walking in the presence of the Lord. I'm walking in the glory of God. The glory of God is all around me. Every seed mold has been broken and God has expanded me and I'm walking into my expansion. That's the prophetic word of the Lord. Restoration is restoring you. 
the oil of restoration has come to you. For a moment, I want you to begin to connect. If you know that this word of restoration, prophetic word release, has been a blessing to you, I want you to begin to thank the name of the Lord. Begin to bless the name of the Lord. Because when you bless him and thank him, what all that you are saying is, Lord, I thank you for favor. I thank you for restoration. I thank you that you're bringing back everything that I lost. I thank you for repositioning me. I thank you for elevation. Let it be. But as you begin to thank God, which means you believe in your heart that whatever he has spoken, he has done it. For a moment, just give him praise. Just thank him. Just thank him. Give him praise. Just give him praise. For he is God. Just give him praise. He has done it. He has done it. Can you increase the volume of the music a little bit for me? Yes, he has done it. He has done it. Just tap into it. Just tap into it. Just tap into it. Begin to give him praise. Begin to honor him. Reverence him. Reverence him. Because I see Araboshi and I see the rain of God coming down upon his people. I see the rain. Aroshi be under the You no more shall you struggle. No more shall you struggle. I see God positioning people. I see God crowning people. I see God restoring. Ah, it's so beautiful in the sight. Oh, Rabohosi and come on, give him praise. This is your time. This is your time. This is your season. Give him praise. Talk to him. Talk to your father. Thank him. Thank your father. Thank God for saving grace. Thank God for deliverance. Thank God for restoration. Thank him. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. You are the I am that I am. The almighty God. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, the Elohim, the I am that I am, our peace, you are our peace, our Abosia. you are our wealth, you are our health, you are our success. We thank Him. We thank you this day for what you have done. We thank you for what you are about to do and what you continue to do. Be glorified. Be magnified. Be exalted. All that you have given to us, we give it up unto you. We give it back to you. It belongs to you. Take your place. Rise to your resting place. Take glory, Father. Take glory, Son. Take glory, Holy Ghost. It belongs to you. We give it back to you. We give it back to you. It is yours. All that you've given to us, we give it back to you. We are forever grateful unto you. We love you, O oh God. We give you praise. Father, I seal your promises in the land, in the life of your people. Lord, your word says that you have restored and brought us into a season of restoration. We believe it with our heart. Our mouth has confessed it. And we say, thank you. We say, amen to your glory. As your word says, all the promises of God in you, they are amen and yes to the glory of the Father. We give you praise. We thank you. And all the saints of God shall say amen. Hallelujah. And to those of you who are here and are the son of my voice, don't know Christ as their Lord. You don't know Jesus as your Lord, your Savior. I want to extend a hand of fellowship to you. And I want you to just pray this short prayer with me. Because this word, this promise that has been released, if the Lord is not your Savior, you cannot partake of it. So this is your time, this is your opportunity 
to open up and accept him into your heart so that you can be a partaker of this prophetic word for, of this prophetic season of restoration say dear lord i'm a sinner i come before you i denounce all my sins i repent from my sinful ways and as i accept you into my heart into my life as my lord and my personal savior from this day forward have your way in me in jesus christ's name i've prayed hallelujah as you have prayed this short and powerful prayer the lord has come into your heart the Bible says, he that is in Christ is a new creature. All things, old things have passed away and behold, all things have become new. You are a new creature under the heavenly grace. And because of this, these blessings that have been pronounced from this altar of God is upon you. You are a partaker of it. If you are around, uh, locate us and worship with us on our virtual service until the time uh, we'll be able to congregate again and uh, if you are watching from a different country I want you of a different state I want you to find a very good church around your locality when things open up get yourself connected to that local church grow from there so that you can be fed. I'm talking about a word-based, Holy Ghost-filled church that you can grow and inspire, be inspired. So find this church. It's not every church that you need to go, but find a church that is truly based on the Word of God, the things of God, and the Spirit-filled church, and grow from there, and the Lord will bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. And um, to those of you who also want to sow into the ministry, um, we urge you to do that to sow your you can even sow a seed of restoration or whatever it is that you can label that you believe that god is placing on your heart you can do that and as you sow into this blessed fertile soil hill of the lord the lord will speak on your behalf and we have the uh, the uh, the giving options on your screen um, you can make your donation through sell uh, for some appear 2001 at yahoo.com is on your screen and you can also go directly to save time you can also go directly to our website healoftheLord.org www.healoftheLord.org and there's a donation tab there just click on that donation tab and um, it makes things so easier for you to sow your seed into this fertile soil and the Lord will be a blessing to you. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I present your people before you, their tithe, their offering, their donations, their special seed that they are sowing into this ministry. Lord, I speak that as you touch their heart to sow into this ministry, whatever their heart desires may be, honor them in the name of Jesus. Those who are giving their tithe, I speak, oh God, that you shall rebuke every devourer in their lives. Open your windows of heaven and pour your rain of blessings, oh God, that this week and from this month upwards, oh God, they will not have enough room to contain their blessings. Let laughter be their portion. Those who are just releasing a special seed as an offering, oh God, your word says in the book of Luke that we should give and it shall be given unto us. Press down, shaking together, running over you shall cause men to give unto our bosom as they release their seed of God supply unto them what the money cannot buy supply unto them their needs break them exponentially in the name of Jesus I bless you with all spiritual and physical blessings of the Lord be blessed in Jesus Christ's name hallelujah I want you to tune in before uh, we share the grace we want you to tune in same time next week 11 a.m. And the Lord will bless you. I also have a weekly virtual broadcast on Wednesdays and Fridays as well, uh, 11 a.m. each time. And uh, as you come on, I want you to also share those words, the power words of the Lord that comes to inspire you and cause you to live a practical life according to the word of God. Hallelujah. So I will see you on Wednesday. 
and uh, Friday on my personal page, uh, Facebook page. But on Sundays, it's through the church. Hallelujah. So be blessed. Close your eyes and lift up your hands. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. May he keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and grant unto you perfect peace. Go from this place knowing that the I am that I am is your portion. Go from this place knowing that you can do all things through him who strengthens you. I speak and I declare which God has professed upon your life restoration. Let it be sealed in his blood. Let it be sealed in his word. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed. Your family is blessed. Your children are blessed. Yes, your spouse is blessed. Whoever is connected to you, you are blessed. This week, you're going out is blessed. You're coming in is blessed. Whatever you touch is blessed. Whatever the soul of your foot will tread upon, God has given unto you as your possession. And even though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you shall fear no evil because God is with you. Go with this strong assurance in your mind and in your spirit that in Christ Jesus you are more than a conqueror. Hallelujah. Shalom. Peace unto you. Have a blessed and a glorious week in the Lord. Amen.